Sports, I'm Carrie Osep. It's the final countdown, as they say, as we take a look at the top five most memorable sports moments from Kern County in 2020. It's been a tough year, but sports has been able to bring us back some normalcy, some joy, and of course, some reflection. And that's where we start the countdown today. Number five. Without sports happening on the fields or the courts, I thought it was a unique chance to bring conversation to the table. And for the first time ever, eight local head coaches, all representing different backgrounds professionally and personally, joined a roundtable discussion on racial inequality and injustice, a topic so many have been fighting to bring awareness to this year. These men had an honest and vulnerable discussion, sharing their own experiences and perspectives as we all try to talk through how to make a safer and more loving community for them, their families, and their teams. Out of Bounds was something I was incredibly grateful to be a part of this year. Number four. While conversations were being had, Bakersfield College was taking action. This year, BC hired its first ever African-American athletic director in Reggie Bolton and head football coach in R. Todd Littlejohn. These hirings broke racial barriers not only for the school, but for the county as a whole, as both men look forward to bringing more equality into their communities. African-Americans can be put in, in leadership roles and thrive in those roles. And I think it's very important for young African-Americans to see uh, people that look like them in leadership roles. Number three, in sports, the cliche goes, make the most of every opportunity. There was one person who's been doing that this year. It's been Chris Barnes. The Liberty grad joined the Green Bay Packers as an undrafted free agent and landed on the practice squad, but was soon elevated to the active roster and earned a starting role. He's proven throughout the season the difference he can make at linebacker, totaling 66 tackles through 12 games, third best on the team, and has even had some game-defining moments as the Packers recently clinched the NFC North title. Barnes reminding all of us it doesn't matter where you start, but how you finish. Number two. One of the biggest memories from this year for Kern County will be the overall shutdown on sports. It started with college and then hit high schools, as athletes all across the county first had their spring seasons canceled in March and have missed out on competitions and normalcies of practice ever since. This is probably it for a lot of them, so it's a memory lost. Uh, you know, you get four years of high school and they see how fast it goes and you lose one of those years, at least from a track perspective. Yeah, it makes it pretty tough. Despite these athletes not having the opportunity to do what they love this year, they battle to create opportunities for themselves. From the home workouts to many still signing national letters of intent to continue their careers, we could learn a thing or two about handling adversity the way all of these kids have been able to. Number one. 2020, unfortunately, will be remembered by starting off with the tragic helicopter crash that took the lives of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gigi, and seven others on board, including three members of the Altabelli family. While the heartbreak of this tragedy was felt worldwide, it also personally hit the hearts of those here in Kern County, including Bakersfield College baseball coach Tim Payton, who was friends with John Altabelli through the baseball community. I knew John for 30 years. And, oh, give me a second. A tragic day. We lost a basketball icon, we lost a coaching icon as well. And for many in the local basketball community, they wouldn't be in their sport without the legacy and mantra left by all-time Lakers great Kobe Bryant on and off the basketball court. We reverend sports people, um, so that was a big hit. I truly believe that he was heading towards being a legend off the basketball court. You've seen him lately with his daughter all the time. Uh, he talked about his wife all the time, he talked about his kids all the time. So you really see him using his mama mentality off the floor into all the other endeavors that he had. His mentality and his approach uh, to the game is just, it was, it was incredible. And that's something that we, we use on our, uh, amongst um, our team. And I won't stop talking about him. He will continue to live on through, uh, through my words. Whether the Mamba had a major impact on your life or not, the tragedy was this year's first reminder of not taking those you love for granted and just how fragile life is. It also brought us the girl dad message as Kobe's greatest accomplishment was being a father to his four daughters. A message close to my heart. And thank you for sharing your girl dads with me as well, Kern County. 2020 has definitely been a year to remember, especially in the sports world. I hope you enjoyed our countdown, and I also hope you took some inspiration from both the highs and the lows from this year. I've been so grateful to share the stories from the sports world in 2020, and I look forward to sharing more of your stories in 2021. For 23ABC Sports, I'm Carrie Osep. Happy New Year, everyone.